should call you Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> so, so. Um, next we have um, General George March, which has a special guest conductor. Please welcome our assistant band director, Mrs. Nikki Kleber. song with the seventh graders. Uh, I'm going to take just a second uh, to, uh, to talk about a couple different things. Um, a lot of people wonder what the next step is, as we are getting close to the end of the year. Uh, the seventh and eighth graders, of course, still have class every day. We're going to be working towards a couple uh, loose ends that we need to tie up, working towards getting better every day, working towards our final exams, which, yes, we have final exams like everyone else. Um, eighth graders will get their high school marching band stuff here soon and can start hacking away on next year's programming. Um, most of the shows are picked. We only have four home games next year for high school. Um, so uh, not as many shows as many of you know. Uh, here in Farstoria, we do a new halftime show for every home game. Uh, last year we did six. Uh, this year we only have to do four because there's only four home games. Um, we feel like it's uh, part of our philosophy to make sure that the crowd is having a good time, making sure we're entertaining, um, as well as putting out quality performances. So. Uh, so that's why so many new shows. Um, seventh graders won't be getting new music, uh, but they still have books. We're going to start hacking, where, hacking our way through. Um, they might get their stuff for eighth grade band night, which will be next fall uh, with the high schoolers. And so that's what we'll be doing from here going forward. If you have any questions regarding participation, if you have any questions whether, well, my student isn't sure whether or not they want to keep going, um, I'd be happy to uh, talk with anyone, talk with you and or your student. Um, of course, everyone claims that I'm biased because I would like everyone to make sure they keep going. Um, realizing that it's not the activity for everyone, and that's fine, but uh, some things to consider going forward. Uh, it's just now starting to get to the fun part. Uh, to me, personally, um, you know, high school band is sort of the goal for the whole, the whole deal. And until you can get out there and actually see what you've been working hard for, uh, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to quit before that point. Uh, usually, once you get that first year of high school done, you go, oh, I get it now. That's really cool. And you can, and, and then it's not a problem past then. But until then, that would be like working all the way through the sports, doing all the junior high sports, being on JV, and just when you're about to start in varsity, you quit. And that doesn't make any sense to me. So you want to at least try to get them to keep going through that first year of high school bands to see what we've been working towards all this time, because it is a cumulative type of deal. Other things to consider, um, they are the best kids in the school. Uh, their peer group, you want them to be, to be around peers who are high achieving, uh, a diverse set of kids who also uh, are very accepting of one another. And so it's a very nice environment to be in. You know, if you look at the honor roll any single time, um, most of the honor roll is band kids. Uh, and most of the band kids are on the honor roll. Um, matter of fact, I think several times this year we've had a couple grades where all of the four point students were band kids. Um, and that's not coincidental. Uh, not only as far as uh, what you're learning and the skills that you're learning in class and the way you apply them, but when you're around high achieving kids, you want to do more. Uh, and the band is certainly a high achieving group of kids. And so there's that to consider also. Uh, if you're thinking about next steps as far as what do I do for my kid, how can I help? Uh, prior to last year's program, we were trying to help with that. There are a number of summer programs, uh, both the resident camp and day camp. 
university, our northern universities, um, other opportunities to learn and get better. Worst case scenario, if it's your own personal instrument, take it into a shop over the summer, get it looked at, get it cleaned, make sure it's in optimal condition for come fall. All right, so those are anything, and of course, Mrs. Kleber and I are more than happy to talk about any band related things with you or outside of school related things too. Um, we're both parents and both have kids in the district, and so anything we can do to help make those decisions or help you out, please let us know. We have one more song with the seventh graders uh, Adrenaline Rush and then we'll welcome the 8th graders on. So here's uh, the last 7th grade song. Seventh grade band. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Um, that was Fanfare for Freedom. Our next song has uh, no percussionists in it. Uh, it is just a chorale, uh, so it's just gonna be the wind players called Stately Essay.
As with most areas of study, there's layers of study to it, and it's, it's been very fun with this group this year to get beyond notes and rhythms and to start talking about blending together as a group and musical aspects um, that certainly as we go forward in high school, um, there would be a lot, a lot more important, well, they're always important, but a lot more prevalent. You know, the older you get, you have less worry about the little stuff and more worry about the big picture, and that was certainly a good example of worrying about the big picture. Um, for this next song, there's an explanation. One moment. And I want to read directly from the program notes so I don't mess this up. I was going to put it in the program, but it's long. I'll speak quickly. Professor Guggelheimer's clarinet polka. Little is known about the life of Professor Armin Guggelheimer. Despite local success as a musician, postman, and wine lover, his fame did not travel much outside his charming home in the village of Untubingen in the Tyrol. He was born around 1812 and died in a spectacular fondue-related accident in 1867. Apart from that, all we can say is, judging from the style of much of his dance music, one of his legs was shorter than the other. He was also famous for inventing the world's first internet search engine in 1850, a short-lived success, perhaps because of the name he chose, Heimer. Clarinet Polka is perhaps his best-known work and has become sort of an anthem for the village of Untubingen, where the residents now hate the piece. But it has an undeniably merry tone and makes approachable work for young band. None of the above has any basis in fact. So there you go. Uh, for this one, we thought it would be fun, uh, because we're one big band family, we thought it would be fun to bring on uh, some uh, extra clarinets for this one. So if you would please join me in welcoming our high school clarinet section. High schoolers have a, almost as long of a day here as I do. Many of them are, had artwork displayed in the art festival. Many of them participate with the choir in the sort of, what you guys sort of do, a roaming around singing business type of deal. And all of them uh, have a rehearsal at 6 o'clock in preparation for our performance at State Contest next Saturday at 1045 in Finley High School in the auditorium. Admission is free. <laughs> Just in case you happen to be wondering what to do. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, and please, the dance floor is open. If, if the music of the polka moves you, and you want to come down here and polka, just remember this is streaming live, and this will be uh, replayed uh, on FETV. So, <laughs> Professor Guggelheimer's clarinet polka.
Stand up. Stand up. Yay, all these people. <laughs> Thank you. Sit down. High schoolers, go away. Shoot. Thank you. That was fun. Made me want to poker. That would be something. Careful, Karen. Okay. Uh, we have a couple more for you. Uh, the next one, uh, once again, features Assistant Band Director Nikki Kleba. This is Dark Adventure. Yay, Mrs. Kleba. Thank you, Mrs. Kleba. Very nice. Um, we have one more song for you tonight, and we want to thank you again for coming out on such a beautiful day and spending your time with us in support of your children and in support of the arts here in Fostoria. Um, there really is a lot of very, very good stuff going on here at Fostoria High School. Don't believe what you read all the time. So uh, we want to thank you for supporting all of that. We do appreciate it. Uh, our last song is um, the story of a comet 
And it is, um, you remember a couple of years ago, it seems like it's every couple of years, there's a comet that's going to come dangerously close to the Earth, and then we'll go the way of the dinosaurs, and we'll be oil for someone else in 100 years. Um, this comet, um, it had a name. It's in the thing. I've read enough today. The <laughs> this comet um, uh, came, again, one of those that came really close to Earth, and then ended up not being that big of a deal and faded off. And so this song is a representation of something like that, where it starts off and we're in space, and there's an object, and it's get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer, and then it flies by, and everything's safe again at the end. Uh, so, th yeah, that's it. So, anyways. Uh, so here it is. Uh, the last song for the day, Fly By. One more thing. So sorry. Uh, you'll notice on the back of the schedule is next year's concert program. Uh, always subject to change, but very rarely does. So please uh, make sure you pay attention to that. And uh, the students will be receiving it again and again and again. Uh, we try really hard to make sure everything gets out, but that is everything to our knowledge to this point for next year. Uh, so please uh, save it, keep it, love it, hold it, put it in the cloud, mark it with a B, put it in the oven, whatever you want to do. Um, just uh, that is uh, next year's concert schedule. So I just want to make a note, make sure you knew that. Now, fly by. Thank you again. Uh, one more round of applause for the seventh grade band and for Mrs. Kleber. Thank you. Now, go forth. Enjoy the rest of your beautiful sunny day.
Thanks for coming, everyone.